This is the Tectonics AFG3022B dual channel arbitrary function generator. When you turn it on initially, it goes through a self test, uh, which has passed with, with no issues. And right now the output is off, but it's showing you what would be on the output. So we're on channel one, which you can see up here. We're going to change the output and the load impedance to high Z for the oscilloscope to be able to handle properly. Back to the top menu. And you can see now we've changed from the amplitude is 1 to 2 volts. And I'm going to turn the output on here. So that's channel 1. And if you go over to the scope, you can see we have 2 volts peak to peak. I'm going to change the frequency. And you could either key in it in or uh, use the uh, use the uh, knob to change it here. Or you can change the period. This way. So as you can see, we have channel one. I've got it set for one volt peak to peak. We're on the output of channel one here, and that's on. We're at a sine wave, and if you look on the scope, we've got the exact same uh, representation over here. One, uh, it's set for half a volt peak to peak uh, per division, so that's one volt uh, total. And then I can change it to a square wave and a ramp and a pulse. You also, we're in continuous mode, you're also able to do modulation, sweep, and burst. We switch over to channel two. Again, I changed my uh, output for high impedance and we're set for two volts peak to peak again we're still at a half a volt per division so that'd be one volt above and one volt below so we're at two volts peak to peak and again we can go through the waveforms Modulation, sweep, etc.